Hello everyone. In this video I'll take you on a high-level tour of how I use Google Calendar to connect Blackboard to my um, Adobe meetings. And I'm assuming you already know a little bit about each of these. I can go into greater detail in another video. Uh, the calendar tab on my Blackboard is not the built-in calendar but just a generic content page. I've uh, already started editing to show you what it looks like. Here's the Google Calendar and the way I inserted that going to the raw HTML here is just this embed code which I basically cut and uh, copied and pasted from uh, Google Calendar. So however intimidating this looks it's just cut and paste. So let me uh, discontinue the edit here. So this is what the student sees. On this page are future meetings, their times and so forth. And if you click on the meetings, you get an information box, which in the description field has a link to join the class. I'm not going to waste time uh, clicking on it. Trust me, it works. So um, let's go to the previous month in which we have some completed classes. For these, when you click on them, you get a link to the recording in the description field. So um, let's go to Google Calendar now and I'll show you uh, how those are edited. Uh, if I click on one of these and uh, edit the event details. Now what shows up as the words join class are um, is actually some HTML I put in here. Once you've um, entered it, it's kind of hidden from you. Uh, there's a link here but you don't see it and if I wanted to change it I'd have to replace the whole thing. So this is actually a link to join the class and up here are some classes that have already taken place and I'll show you how this works uh, as I edit them. So let's open up the event details. We're going to change join class uh, to a recording. So let me first replace this. And in fact if we save it now and Okay, if we click on this now, we just have the word recording without the link. Okay, so now I have to add the link. Let's go back here and um, edit this again. Okay, now I go to my recording information page. I think this is the meeting I'm looking for. Yes, okay, so now I will uh, copy this link which uh, leads through the recording. Copy link location. Go back to calendar here. And now I will add the HTML code, which is, uh, if you're not familiar with HTML, just do exactly what I'm doing here. So a href equals quote, quote, uh, close bracket, and then I'll end the tag by slash a close bracket. And now I put the link between the quotes here. Click. And now we're done. That's all there is to it. So let's go back here and uh, force the page to refresh. Come back. I forgot to change this to all day. That's what I do once there's a recording there. But if we click on this, you'll see that um, uh, the recording is now in place and this is now a link to the recording. Okay. So let's uh, fix this. I want it to be an all day because obviously the recording has no particular time. Save that. Now, uh, if you uh, want, let's watch while I do one more here. Open the event details. 
change it from there's a hidden link there we just can't see it Re whoops recording and now let's go get our recording information we have to go back to the recordings because we want a different one this is the one we want grab the link uh, copy link location go back here and I will add the HTML now that's the opening tag now I'll add the closing tag change it to all day save change only this instance and there they are and you, you'll note that if we try to edit this again the HTML is now hidden uh, the only way to, to change it is replace it. it it shows up when you're entering it but once you finish the edit it doesn't show up however it will show up uh, in the calendar and you know I think maybe I could have just done this to force a refresh no I guess not we have to go away and come back okay there we go uh, the solid color indicates an all-day event I could have changed the text here as well and now when we click on this uh, we have a link to the recording okay I hope that wasn't too confusing hope this is helpful and uh, feel free to contact me uh, if you want help setting this stuff up bye bye